What up, nerds, and welcome to Not Your Status Quo's Spider-Man Far From Home trailer breakdown. And remember, if you like what you see, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to be notified of future videos. Let's jump right in. You know, we start out with seeing Peter in front of that Iron Man mural, probably. Suit, this does take place right after Endgame, so it's still probably a pretty sore point for him. You know, he did lose kind of his mentor, as you saw in Homecoming. Still doing the Spider-Man thing, though. Love that he's in the Iron Spider outfit still, and you know, mm. doing what Spider-Man does. Webbing up bad guys, quipping with the police. Absolutely, yeah. Of course, then he kind of blows it by saying, hey, I'm going on vacation. <laughs> Peter Parker's gone, and Spider-Man shows up. Still take a little investigation to find him. So did you notice that, that one scene right there? So did you notice the uh, the one scene there that he's uh, swinging around uh, downtown Manhattan? I think that's going to come into play a little bit, a little bit more uh, in in this particular movie. So a lot of it was very grounded. Uh, he wasn't really swinging around uh, too many buildings as much. It kind of showed what happens when Spider-Man is in the neighborhood and trying to swing off of tree houses and uh, open open fields and whatever. Uh, it'll be nice to kind of see you know how this uh, this particular series of movies. Um, will will be able to show Spider-Man uh, uh, swinging from large skyscrapers and everything. Oh yeah, because you know he was. It was a lot of s suburbia mm -hmm. yeah, in Homecoming. Yeah. We didn't see that, you know, downtown New York swinging mm -hmm. from building to building. So. And I'd say with uh with um you know from the Sam Raimi movies up to the uh, the next iteration of with uh, Andrew Garfield, they've gotten a little bit better. You know, so I'm I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to go. Right. You know, we get Peter sending Fury to voicemail. We get MJ coming in, and now they're off. Poor Flash, probably deserved it. Yeah. Absolutely. Get to the meat of it. And here's where we see a change from the first video, because remember in the first trailer, he says, you know, happy to finally meet you, Spider-Man. Yeah. And now he says, you're a hard person to track down. So it seems like one of he those changes they made in the first one right. to not spoil Endgame. We're here, you know, if you don't know that they met at Tony Stark's funeral, yeah. spoilers for Endgame, by the way, <laughs> uh, you know, you probably shouldn't be watching the trailer. Well, apparently that was also uh, spoilers for Tom Holland, as he had mentioned before, that he was told that it was a wedding scene. <laughs> so, Well, you can't trust Tom Holland with any secrets. <laughs> no, Him cannot. or Mark Ruffalo, <laughs> if they know something, we all know it, so... Right. Uh, so uh, one thing that I do want to mention about this particular scene is um, uh, I think I had uh, I might have mentioned this in one of uh, one of the other videos, perhaps. But uh, it's the idea that uh, Peter didn't seem to notice that Nick Fury was there. So either he didn't feel that he was in danger, his spider sense didn't go off or. Nick Fury is that good of a spy that it didn't even set off his uh, his spider sense. I think he's that good, and his spider sense, you know, like sense is evil or something. No, he's in danger. Not evil. Yeah, it, yeah that's like what a, I meant. A bricks so, flying. Like something's gonna hit him. He's yeah. in trouble. But he's not in trouble with Nick Fury, so maybe that's why I didn't. Well, but it could be. He's trying to yeah. recruit him to fight. And he <laughs> right. just tranked his friend. So uh, it, not his friend, not him. Why? He's there to speak to him. Oh, okay. meeting Mysterio, who is claiming he's from another Earth, which I think if we all know Mysterio from the comics, he's not always the most honest person. Mm -hmm. And we see what could be Sandman or an Elemental. Um, yeah. So I personally don't know much about the whole uh, the Elementals. I know of Hydro-Man, but I know about the iteration of Hydro-Man, who was a human first and ended up becoming, a, as they call them now in uh, in the new Marvel Universe, you know, a metahuman of some kind so well hydro man isn't an element okay he's a he's a meta human just mm -hmm. like sandman and molten man who it could be them in this movie we have a theory i have a theory about them that we'll talk about in our theories video that coming up later yes coming up later but the elementals are like pure elementals and mm -hmm. they are not the same as hydro man molten man and uh, sandman okay right. and what he just mentioned there a minute ago this is not going to go into my theory but um well maybe it will later uh, when he mentions he's from Earth, just not our Earth. I mean, I know you guys are excited about a multiverse, but I, I, I don't like it. You know, I'll go over that more in the theories video. But well, I, and once I, again, I like the if you know Mysterio's character, when he first came into the comics, he was pretending to be a hero to 
when everyone's saying and when it was outed that he was actually committing these crimes that he was stopping, <laughs> you know, they found out he was a villain, which very well could be what happens in the movie. So he could be doing things with these villains to set it all up, trying to be the yeah. hero when he's really the villain and he'll be outed sometime in the movie. Mm-hmm. I think uh, one of the theories that uh, they were talking about, I won't go too deep into it, but the idea that he might have actually created these elementals. I love that, you know, he's coming to recruit Spider-Man because, as we hear later, they're all off-world. You know, Thor's gone. Yeah. (laughs) So it's up to Spider-Man. He's finally, you know, got to step up into that hero role, and I like how they've Hmm. sort of built him up. Gradually, they've become the hero that we know him to be. He didn't just step in in the first movie and be that hero. Okay, I love this part. Just want to pause it here for a minute because... Once again, is this one of those fake out scenes where they threw it in there, they filmed it just as a trailer scene? Nope. I, don't so we so. all think, I don't think so. Because it's pretty he's pretty he's not good with his secret identity. No. Or what either. it appears to be in what we've seen in trailers. Where none of those scenes may be in the actual movie and maybe they don't realize who so he is. I, I think, think they do. And I and now another thing about I don't know if I like this version of MJ, at least in the um in the commercials or the trailers, because she just looks like all right, she's so um, put dismissive with everything, and then she just like knows everything. You know, I hope that doesn't play out into the movie. She's more more of a you know a sweet character, but she just seems like, oh yeah, I know, I know everything. You know? So I, I think this is kind of a, a natural progression of the. Um, if this is in fact supposed to be you know this uh, this Mary Jane version Watson. of Mary Jane Watson, I think this is a natural progression of the character because uh, and Dave, you know this from the Ultimate series uh, in. The, the first couple of issues, uh, Peter Im- immediately tells Mary Jane his secret identity, doesn't yes. keep it from her. He uh, from the old, you know, 50s and 60s comics, it, he kept that secret from her for, uh, you know, for months and years, and same with the 90s uh, cartoon. Um, she never knew that he was Spider-Man, so I think this is just a natural progression of that character. And once again, this character development, you know, she oh, yeah. might be kind of holding back who she is a little bit, because she doesn't know, you know, Peter Parker that well yet. And as she'll become more of the Mary Jane from the comics as she gets closer to him. You know, it doesn't have to be, it's Mary Jane, she's all of a sudden the Mary Jane from the comics. She can be holding back. Yeah. Oh, good. And it, that's not even real, what I really mean. It's just the way that she's coming off as. Oh, like, very dismissive. Yeah, it? very just, I, do, I just, I, I know this. I'm smarter than you guys. You don't realize it. And, I, you know, she's a, she's a good girl. She, I don't, you know, want to not like her. <laughs> because of her attitude. That's what, you know, I'm worried about the commercials being different than the movie. <laughs> you know, here we get almost, you know, I don't know what that was. It almost seemed like the melding of all three, like, Oh, it does almost look like, like that. They come together. Yeah. You know, we get some sweet shots in the stereo, you know, once again. What was Peter Parker seeing in Tony Stark's? Those are Tony Stark's glasses. Right. Like he sees something. Is that the aha moment where he figures out that Whatever all of the this plot is, twist is? Yeah, all mm-hmm. of this is Mysterio. Is this his doing? Is right. he utilizing uh, you know his background as if this is uh, the same Mysterio character from the comics and the the uh, shows and the cartoons and everything? Um, is he using his uh, special effects background to uh, manufacture these threats? Yeah, and that could be, and if he figures it out with Tony Stark's glasses, that could be that scene, or once again, it could just be him seeing all the heads-up displays that Tony has built into his glasses. So, you know, looking forward to finding that out. Oh, yeah. And we saw that destroyed city, so it looks like there's going to be some major damage. Oh, definitely. You know, Spider-Man running. Looks like he is in Tony Stark's lab right there. Let me get that thing. Molten clearly, Man again. Clearly the world misses uh, Tony Stark, misses Iron Man. Well, he saved half the universe. Yeah. Then we get this final scene, which I love Flash's reaction to Happy. <laughs> New plan. <laughs> no, that and wasn't that, the Quinjet. No, that that no, I think that was a Quinjet. Was it? I don't know, but whatever it is, obviously it gets blown up, and mm-hmm. you know we see them kind of reacting and it looks like they're still in Europe of some type so how happy gets over there and how this all comes together I'm looking forward to finding out but I think there's a lot going on in this and I think we're going to have a lot of surprises and 
It's only a few days away. I can't wait. Definitely. And uh, definitely stay tuned for our theory video. We've got a lot more to talk about when it comes to this movie. So check that out.